Uh, I just was, uh, oh, Sarah, sorry, you were going no. to say something. No, 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 by all means continue. Thank you, Julie. Look, one of the things that, um, that occurred to me as I was, um, as I was um, talking, I'm aware from previous reviews that there have been, uh, and I did mention in my, uh, in my discussion that if participants had uh, shown that they'd had difficulties in the past managing their budgets, that, that um, they might, the agency could take that into account. Um, and so it might lead people to think that people can't self-manage their plans and that there's somehow going to be a change to that. There's absolutely no change to a participant's ability to self-manage their plan or to request that they self-manage their plan. Um, it's just now, um, at the moment, the only reasons that the NDIA was able to say no was if there was a significant risk to the participant, um, but that significant risk at the moment didn't take into account how the participant uh, managed their own budget. And that's the only change that's made. So for participants who are managing, um, uh, the majority of participants who are managing their uh, their plans very well, there's absolutely no no change at all. Uh, and there's uh, there's uh, to to the ability to self manage your own plan or to have um, a registered plan manager ma uh, manage it for you. Great, thank you, so Julie. Back to and you, Sarah. Sorry, that's a bit of an interpolation. No, 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 no. That was perfect because the question that we had, um, you, you beautifully um, jumped in and wrapped that up around would self-managed plans still be available? So um, you're on the ball and you're ahead of all of us. So thank you. Um, this next question.